Hi everyone. Recently I've been checking out the new features of Windows 11. I installed it a few weeks ago when it, when it became available through the Insider Preview dev channel. And essentially I've been using my computer as normal since it, um, since it upgraded. But everything's been fine. And then I saw this post from Jen at Microsoft, Jen, gentleman from Microsoft. Essentially, it blew my mind. I haven't used Win plus H in Windows 11, certainly. I used it once in Windows 10 and it was awful, so I didn't really want to carry on using it. And I thought, you know, Jen said this, and she's mentioned it to, to Scott Hanselman of all people. Let's see what it's all about. So I did. And I really enjoyed it. I had quite a good experience. I, I mean, this is voice typing, and I obviously like to talk, but I didn't expect to quite enjoy it so much. So what I thought I'd do is do this very, very, very quick video and write the description while I was talking to you. So I'll jump into Notepad. Well, one note because I'm not insane. Um, so here we are with my OneNote document. Um, what I'm going to do is just start up voice typing through WinH and uh, give it a quick go of essentially typing the description that I would normally give for the for the YouTube video, but via uh, voice typing. So we can see how this goes. So I just hit Windows H and the pop-up box here appears. Um, oh look, it's typing. <laughs> Let's stop that. I'm not going to help uh, and get rid of that. And just going to settings for a second. You can see I've got the launcher enabled, which is this this thing here. Although it should appear nearby whenever I go into a text box. That's the idea. And it just appears, so you don't need to worry about pressing pressing Windows H, and you can just click on the the mic icon. And then um, auto punctuation should theoretically add punctuation as you're typing. And I'm really dubious about whether it can pick up auto punctuation in my accent because I'm not. Well, you know, I'm I'm from the north of England, and we're not that well. Um, yeah, well, we can't speak real English. Anyway, so let's uh, try it out. In this video, Dean explores the significant improvements in voice typing that are available in Windows 11. New paragraph. With auto punctuation enabled, periods and commas are added automatically. New paragraph. Voice typing has been around for a long time, but the improvements in recent months are fantastic. Alright, so that's not bad. I wanna I wanna click stop. Um <laughs> I don't need that in the description. Alright, so that isn't bad. Um we've got uh this is all correct. Uh voice typing I, I would personally capitalise, but I'm just a pedant around that kind of thing. Uh and I'd probably stick a hyphen in there, but that's great. Um Voice typing, uh, this is probably a caps. Um, that is almost what I'd stick with for the description for this video. In fact, that is what I'm going to stick with for the description for this video, but that's awesome. 